I'm River Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. Okay, we're here with a very unique firearm today by Colt. At the time, uh, they thought it was a great idea. Um, however, it's today, it's uh, at the time this video is being made, it's discontinued. But, you know, it probably ends up in the hands of collectors now. And um, what they wanted to do was have a firearm that could be changed over from a 308 to um, a different upper, um, an AR-15 on the fly. Um, it is pretty easy and pretty quick to change over, um, but their idea was this is a um, made for the military and also police forces around the country. Anyway, um, that was the idea. Uh, so this is basically what it's called. It's a Colt LE-901. And it is on the back here, of the on the side of the receiver, it says modular carbon. So it's kind of like a convertible. The upper can come off the lower, and then you can put any mil-spec AR-15 barrel on top of it and fire 5.56 five, or 2.23. Now, what you're going to gain here when you change over to the AR-15 barrel, you're going to gain a little bit more front weight okay and then also a little bit more um, back weight with this lower receiver as a backpacker back in the day with the scouts um, we always had to get our uh, pack down to 25 percent of our body weight so the only thing that i can see where this would save weight now this is if you'd want to carry something like this in your backpack um, you wouldn't have to carry the lower for the AR-15, so you'd save about three, four pounds without the lower here. And then you'd have the conveniences of all the features the 308 lower offers. Like on this particular firearm here, um, we actually have a bolt release on the right side of the receiver, so while your finger's outside the trigger guard, you can actually move it up here real quick and hit that bolt release right here, okay? So, and also the bolt release and the bolt catch is here back on the left side of the receiver. All right, so uh, this gun is uh, set up for right hand since the um, safety switch is, is on the left side of the receiver, all right? And then your, your um, mag uh, release is kind of nice. It, it's right here. So you don't have to drop the mag on the ground it actually comes right out into your hand so that's another great feature this gun has but anyway it's a it's a very simple conversion over to um, a new uh, a different upper um, and like i said any ar-15 mil spec upper uh, will fit this and it'll fire 5.56 and 223 and uh, the conversion requires changing out the buffer and now on this buffer there is no um, identification that this is a 5.56 five, or 223. But once you uh, open up this um, upper receiver here uh, on this buffer, there is a um, identification on this one. It says 308. But it is chamber for 762, so you can fire that out of it too as well. Um, now, these, um, this flash hider is one of the best flash hiders. You don't need to get a spark with this, this is a Vortex flash hider. So that's very unique to this gun too. And then you have the uh, um, nice uh, rear stock. And um, you know, this is one of the best, best stocks in the business. Uh, now it does come with a forward assist. Um, I was not able to find one without one. Um, I'm not really a fan of a forward assist, I guess for a tactical purpose, um, some people might think that's necessary but for a mechanical side of it um, I don't think it's really necessary especially with this heavy bolt construction and as long as we're on the topic of the bolt uh, let's talk about the bolt carrier now Colt made one and it would be hard to find parts for this um, but the Colt made a bolt carrier that is very unique the back side of the bolt carrier 
is an AR-15 style. And then up at the small, at the front of the uh, bolt, it's a 308. So that combination was uh, put together. So that's, that's another unique feature about this gun. And it does have a locking front sight. All right, so it locks into place. And you also have a rear sight here too as well. All right, so um, today what I thought I would do with this um, firearm is to show you how easy the conversion is and then also fire it. And, and I haven't fired this gun yet, so I thought I would share that with you. And um, we'll do the conversion over to the uh, AR-15. Now this one came off of the, uh, the M4 carbine that I have, LE-6940. So um, we'll switch that over. Now it comes, when you buy the, when you bought this back in the day when they sold these, came with a buffer spring that you had to change out to the 5.56223 and also came with a conversion block. And I'll show you how that all goes together. But it only takes a few, uh, a few minutes to change it over and it's ready to go. So what do you say we get fire in this gun and, and see how easy it is to convert it over? Okay, since this gun is chambered for 7.62, um, that's what we're going to put in here. These are full metal jackets, 145 green. going to start with the upper target. We're going to move it back so it comes into the shoulder. So I'm going to put the foot of the lead sled right on the edge there because I want it as far into my shoulder as I can get it. There we go. All right, so take that front sight, cover it up, cover up the bullseye with it, then bring it down slowly. All right, that's in safe mode. Let's put one in there. Coming out of safe. Upper target, here we go. Going that back into safe. Now if I had a scope on the gun, I could probably see. shoot really low to the left there. Yeah, let's try another two anyway. So again I'm going to put the bullseye right on top of my front sight. Here we go. Here we go. I can see that one. The elevation was better. <coughs> Just slightly to the left, though. Going back into safe mode here. Okay. Let's do it again. Coming out of safe. There we go. That one was just left almost touching the bullseye. So I've got two more shells in here, so 
Um, I'm not going to do any corrections with it. Okay, so let's try it again. Now it's safe. Here we go. Well, that one was low, slightly to the left. Now let's try the last one here. Coming out of safe. Here we go. Let's go, to, uh, let's go ahead and do the conversion now and switch it over to 5.56. Five, okay. So let's go ahead and do the conversion and I'll try not to get in your way so you can see. But anyway, our bolt is closed. We can go ahead and close that dust cover. We got the parts here. We got the, the buffer for the 5.56 five, um, and it doesn't have any indication on here it, that it's for a 5.56 five, or 223 or whatever but the buffer spring in here for the 308 does it is marked right here and I will show you that but anyway we have our conversion block and our buffer spring so the first thing we want to do is take off the um, upper 308 and change out the buffer spring so let's go ahead and do that Okay, we separate those. So we no longer need this barrel here. Now we're gonna take this LE6940 upper. We can close the dust cover on this. All right. Now we need, the first thing we need to do is change out, change out the buffer spring. So you can use actually a bullet for this and press down on the detent there, but press in the buffer spring. As the buffer spring comes out, you want to take it out at an angle so it doesn't hang up on that detent, okay? And it'll come out pretty easy, all right? So now on here, it indicates that it's for the 308, okay? So we can't get it confused here. All right, so we take this 5.56 five, 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 buffer spring and we put it in here. Again, we want to go in at an angle. See how I'm going in at an angle here? Okay, press it all the way in, and it'll stay in. There it is. All right. So, the next thing we want to do is take the conversion block, all right, and we want to hook it up to here first on the LE6940. Safety flag there. All right, so that's done. All right. Now all we do is line it up and slip it through here. That's all there is to it. All right, that's it. good to go. That's the conversion. And it's all set to go. So let's go ahead and, and uh, we can now fire the uh, the lower with the with the LE 6940 upper and we get it we get to take advantage of all the features that it has on the uh, 308 lower. All right. Okay here we go. Lower target.
Okay, back into safe. Looks like we're right above the bullseye with that. So, the only adjustment I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the bullseye right on top of the front sight. That's the only adjustment I'm going to make. Here we go. They were right next to each other. Without looking in that spotting scope, it looks like from here, if I'm looking at it, it looks like they're closer to the bullseye than they actually are. So, I'll come down a little bit, go lower. Here we go. Raise it up a little bit. Here we go. Right there. Here we go. Fire the next one. Okay, out of safe. Here we go. So there we have it, how easy the conversion is, and, and uh, we can definitely hit uh, the bullseye if we practice a lot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button and hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. All right. Thanks for watching.